peace to my dad, man. You know what I'm saying? Kai how, son forever. How old were you when he first got locked up? That man, you can my remember? Dad was, man, my dad was going to jail my whole life, man. Um, Do you remember how old you were the first time? Um, Yeah, cause I, I think I had to be probably about, about four years old. He went and did like five years. Mm. Then he came home after that. And I remember me being, uh, you know, like 10 years old. Mm-hmm. And that's when he caught his, he did had called life. You know what I'm wow. saying? Yeah, and he ended up doing, uh, he ended up doing 23 years. How did you feel about that time? Because, you know, five years compared to 23 years, that's a yeah. big, um, and you were old enough at that time to really understand certain things. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. how did you I, feel? It, it, it was like, it's like, man, like stuff, just, stuff just starts becoming so normal. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. If you're if you watching TV or the internet or whatever you're watching, right. this, this guy right here, man, I'm gonna be honest with you, Double uh, XL 2015, man. Freshman yeah. class. Stand yeah. up. Yeah. He in the building, man. Cash money. Young yeah. money. Yeah. G unit, yeah, man. It, it was another one too. Re, yeah, re, yeah, re, 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 I said, you know, I woke up because you know we was in New York yesterday. I was like, man, no, today, this morning. We yeah, yeah, we like just today. got here today. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, we gonna take it easy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then, <laughs> then I got a call. Say, kid, kid was in town. Hell yeah! I woke up. She said, what? Hell yeah! I said, kid, kid in town, and I said, the little <laughs> nigga, the little nigga be working. I want my hundreds blue like X Men. That money turned me to a beast. Your wife fucking your best man. I told you that hope for the streets. That's what really matters. See. The man Thanks, been working. Bro. The man been in the game for twenty years. The man, the man been mm-hmm. twenty plus years. Started at fourteen. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? A young boy. Thanks, bro. You know what I'm Thanks. saying? So I had to step my game up and say, you know what, man? Forget about jet lag. It's going down. <laughs> it's man. going yeah. down. For <laughs> Let's real. go, Mr. That's, like, that's how you get to it. You, know? <laughs> you gotta get up and get to it, man. Yeah. For real, man. We ain't getting no rest. <laughs> that's it. So what part yeah. of New Orleans are you from? I'm from downtown, Nine Ward. Nine, Nine Ward. Ward. Maze ain't the big exact. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, what made that part different from any other other wards? Um, really, real talk, it's not really so different. Really? You know what I mean? For real. Like I feel like every ward got the same thing you did. You got your real niggas, you got your fake niggas. You know what I'm saying? You got your you did your freak females, you got your bad females. You know what I'm saying? It's like every every, you know, hood the same. The only thing that's different is you know, it's my hood. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, my partner's who I grew up with. You feel yeah. me? So, of course, you know, that's definitely going to be different from anywhere else. Yeah. You know, because you're with your own people. Yeah, because people always feel like, oh, my hood, the hardest hood. My hood have more poverty. My hood, we suffer more over here. Or we have the m- more people mm-hmm. come up out of here, you know, make it big. Yeah, or, yeah. you know, people yeah. always feel that way about yeah. their own but hood. You know, but, you know, it's like this, man. With me, when I say that, it's like. Yeah, of course, you know, because uh, you know I'm from downtown. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people that made it from out of the city, they from uptown. Mm. You get what I'm saying? But I always look at it like this, man. Like, no matter you from uptown or downtown, you know what I'm saying? We still a part of the same struggle. Like, even exactly. the people that made it from out of there, you know what I'm saying? They people still in that struggle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For real. Like, I tell a nigga this every time, bro, when they be like, What's your definition of success? I said, when well, my phone stopped ringing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When people call me just genuinely to see how I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not about, oh, man, I can say, bro, I'm, I'm fucked up, bro. I need this, I need... You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's when I knew I made it because I knew everybody around me going to be straight. Right. You right. feel me? For real. I like that. So yeah. were you raised with your mom and your dad? Um, My dad, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my dad, you know what I'm Rest saying? I lost him last year. Wow. Um, yeah, man, my dad, he was, you know, locked up most of my life, but he still was a part of my life, like Y'all so much a part close. of my life. Oh, yeah. And then that's possible yeah. to be locked up so much of your life and still be so close. Like, what did he do to make that impact on you? Um, Just, like, cause from the day I was born, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, my dad took me, you know what I'm saying? I, I lived with my dad and my okay. grandmother. Okay. You know what I mean? My dad's mom, you know, and, uh, you know, I was raised with them, you feel me? So I'm, I'm a grandma, I'm a baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real, you know? So, you know, I'm I'm very, like, you know, well-mannered. You know, I got respect That's for my good. adults and, you Can know what I mean? Stuff like that. Can huh? you cook? 
My Not grandma? That much. <laughs> Not that much. Because your grandma, much. baby, grandma's supposed to be showing you how to throw down. Yeah, you know, I'm in the kitchen. I'm just waiting to eat. I wasn't trying to man. I was, you know what I mean? For real. That's real. Know? That's rest real. Rest in peace to my grandmother, man. Rest in peace to my dad, man. You know what I'm saying? Kind of son forever. How old were you when he first got locked up? That man, you can my remember? Dad was, man, my dad was going to jail my whole life, man. Um, Do you remember how old you were the first time? Um, Yeah, because I, I think I had to be probably about, about four years old. He went and did like five years, mm. then he came home after that, and I remember me being, uh, you know, like 10 years old, mm-hmm. and that's when he caught his, he did had called life, you know what I'm wow. saying? Yeah, and he ended up doing, uh, he ended up doing 23 years. How did you feel about that time? Cause you know, five years compared to 23 years, that's a yeah. big, um, and you were old enough at that time to really understand certain things, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. how did you I, feel? It, it, it was like, it's like man, like stuff, just, stuff just starts becoming so normal. You know what I mean? You see it like so much. Yeah, because you know you got you got your uncles going to jail mm. like that. You got you know what I'm saying all the cousins going. You know what I mean? And and it just be you know start becoming normal. You feel me? But you know me and my dad like we always talked a lot. You know what I'm saying? What he was you know in jail and that thing. Like he made sure you know he always called me. You know what I'm saying? He made sure. You know, I had some kind of money, you know what I'm saying, and some kind of guidance, you feel me? Did he ever well, give you those speeches like, don't go down the same path that I went, don't do this? Or he didn't give you them type of speech? You, you know what's funny? You know what's funny, bro? Like, he never really did it. Mm. It was always more of like, you know, be your own man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For real, because, you know, like, we, you know, you know, it's everybody's story, you know what I'm saying? You know, we ain't had nothing, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, at that time and like at that age, you feel me, you just watching everybody else and what they have, you know, and when you don't have it, it's only so many options you got, you know? Mm-hmm. But um but you know my dad, man, like he was smart, man. He one of the reasons like why I am how I am and you know what I mean, why I go so hard, how I go hard, for real, because when nobody believed in me, he did, big, he was there. Mm. For real. You know what I'm saying? He first. You know what I mean? That's for real. Weird. Like when he when he uh when he came home, you know what I'm saying? First thing I did, I made sure I, I, I took him with me. You know mm. what I mean, for real. So, you know, before he passed, he got to meet 50 Cent. He got wow. to meet Wayne M and, and, and all these people and see his son perform, you know what I'm saying, at a high level and that stuff like that. That means a lot that. to him. Forever track with Drake first, but he ain't even know it. Been taking off a few his songs, I learned you gotta keep going. Man, of course, for real, for How real. How many kids man. did he have? Uh, you see, it's me, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. He had like seven. Seven? You the oldest? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He had like seven. Yeah, All of them I mean, live I, with I, grandma? Uh uh-uh, uh. Nah. Just you? Nah, it was just me and uh, me and my brother, me and my brother uh, Carl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.